I've been on a journey and I've seen, you know, some of the top professionals across the country and their answers to me were pretty much all the same. They were the same. And this event was life changing, but it's not the end of my story. So I'm here to announce that I plan on making a comeback to the NFL. Um, what, uh, so the diagnosis of pretty much what happened to me was basically commodio cortis. It's a direct blow at a specific point in your heartbeat that causes cardiac arrest. And five to seven seconds later, um, you fall out. And that's pretty much what everyone's seen January 2nd of this year. Um, commodio cortis is the leading cause of death in youth, in youth athletes across all sports. So that's something that I personally will be taking a step in to make a change. Um, and also with that being said, you know, the, all the awareness around CPR and the access to AEDs have been lower in that number as well. After Hamlin was discharged from the ICU, the question on so many minds, what caused his heart to stop beating? You're 24, peak physical condition, could run circles around me right now. <laughs> <laughs> How did doctor describe what happened to you? Um, um, that's something I want to stay away from. What happened to your heart, Damar? What happened to your heart? You know, it sure seemed that within minutes, uh, all the little internet doctors creeping out of their dark little corners knew exactly what your condition was. And all the big time media outlets put out the same messaging. It's commotional cortis, right, guy? So his heart stopped beating, and the question becomes then what caused it? And it seems as if in this case, what caused it to be commotional cortis. So the diagnosis of pretty much what happened to me was basically commodio cortis. Apparently it's not commodio cortis, right? At this point, that, that much is clear. Could it be possibly the unmentionable? You can't question all the excess mortality rates. You can't question all the young, healthy athletes like yourself that have also collapsed on the field. I know you might be surrounded by some pretty powerful interest right now. But as I see it, you know, as a Christian, as you claim to be, God is greater and the battle belongs to the Lord. And as a Christian, you may have heard this verse, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, even within the NFL. How much did they pay you, Damar? What's your price? What does it benefit a man to gain the whole world only to lose his soul? Well, if this was what a lot of us out here think it was, I hate to break it to you, but your life has been cut dramatically short. So remember, there's a lot more of us out here, an army in fact, ready and willing to stand by your side. You've asked for prayers in the past, we'll keep praying for you. Keep praying that you do what's right. In the meantime, God bless. It's Night Watch Nate, signing out. Now another Bills player is down. Tell exactly who that is. Maybe Hamlin. Welcome back to Cincinnati, where medical personnel have been working on Bill Safety Demar Hamlin for the last nine minutes. Hamlin made a hit. He got up, took a couple of steps, and then just fell to the ground. We don't know, of course, the extent of his injuries, but the entire Bills team is out on the field right now. Several players are down on their knees. Other players are holding hands, praying. You can just see the word looks uh, on their faces. As soon as we have more, uh, we'll pass it on up to you guys. Okay, Lisa, we're going to take a break. They have been administering CPR through these past two breaks that we've taken. As Lisa said, Mar Hamlin has been down for over nine.
nine minutes now. Watching, praying, and hoping for the best. We'll send it away from here. There's nothing more to say at this point. We'll give you an update as soon as we can.